Good morning traders, Richard here doing a quick Ichimoku cloud chart market update on the Nasdaq Composite in view of the recent price action. Now let's start with the, the, the monthly chart. We can see the market's very, very extended. We have quite a uh, quite a bubble going here. Look, um, makes the 2000 uh, bubble looks rather small. But nevertheless, the market is at risk of consolidating. Uh, key levels to watch out for is this uh, turning line of the cloud at 14,625. And then the front end of the cloud has another support level for Q1, 12, 98 to 13,000. So these are kind of big picture levels, but just to bear in mind that these are downside risk levels on the really big picture if the market keeps rolling over. But the ultimate top is still in place there. That's a very negative bearish candle there. So, so far the market top is in place. We need to break out past that zone. Uh, turning to the weekly, market struggled did not find support at the standard line of the cloud you can see that little blue line there is normally a nice little rebound zone you can see there many times the market rebound from that level and then the other consolidation is normally down to the turning line of the cloud it's this uh, much longer time frame line of the cloud the uh, standard line of the cloud is the calculation of the highest high and the lowest low the last 26 days divided by two so it gives you a little bit more of a bigger picture where key support levels are so on the weekly the key levels to watch out for now we are fighting for support at this standard line of the cloud and then the front in the cloud you at 15301 that's already uh, already uh, sacrificed that level next level to watch out for is this 14891 uh, top in the cloud yeah this level yeah let me put these lines in just uh, that on the chart there horizontal line you can see this is a really big support zone on the cloud top in the cloud this cluster of support lows there that high there that's that's tanked and then we look at these highs here for another potential support zone so we see we might get a year end rally rebound as it dips into this cluster of support, the old highs there, as well as the front end cloud chart low and as well as this low of October. So it will be interesting to see if we get that uh, rebound there. But so far still, you know, consolidating after becoming quite extended from the top end of the cloud. Now, if we look at the daily, it gives a little bit more feel what's happening intraday. At a critical stage, uh, if we dip below the bottom in the cloud and we trade below the, the bottom in the cloud, this level, yeah, then the market's now looking at a bearish outlook on daily from Ichimoku cloud chart. Price action above the cloud is bullish. Price action below the cloud is bearish at, at, uh, from an Ichimoku cloud chart perspective. We had a MACD sell way up here. It was also becoming very extended from the top in the cloud, then got the consolidation. There was a cloud chart sell signal there. The turning line then became new resistance zone as well as the front end of the cloud and then it's testing uh, last week tested a few days the bottom end of the cloud and I think the future is already below this level so we are having a, a significant cloud chart support break so levels to watch out for to the downside is this cloud chart level there the old cloud we call it cloud chart shadow when we look back to previous price action previous support levels so these are the downside support levels 14891 and uh, 14,796, so there's downside risk to these key levels on the daily. But for the market to resume a bullish trend, we really need to trade back above this cloud chart support level. So there are some, you know, there's some, some risk there to the downside there. Turning to the uh, four hour chart, gives you a little bit more feeling what's happening in today. Outlook is still bearish since price action is below the cloud. Managed to rebound from all cloud chart support levels, gapped up, ran into resistance here. Yeah the top in the cloud slice through the bottom in the cloud then try to re re rally from this level back up to the bottom in the cloud bottom in cloud chart resistance remain in place so this line here that's significant resistance zone now so market needs to get back above the top in the cloud to be bullish on the four hour but bearish with swing trade opportunities from these rebound zones so watch out to see if we're going to get a rebound from these levels this first level to watch is 14898 and then another support zone 14794 and then this bottom in cloud level yeah so there's a couple of steps to the downside that we can hit on the four hour chart to give some ideas to where the bottom is so there's three four lines there to to keep an eye on for a potential rebound if support comes in so this level this cloud chart level there 14790 8 to 14,800 might be a, a key rebound zone. And then the swing traders will trade back up to the bottom end of the cloud. Yeah, but bearish outlook on the four hour daily is about to 
daily is about to change to a uh, daily is about to change to bearish if we don't regain support back above the bottom in the cloud with this cluster of downside risk on the daily Ichimoku cloud. Until next time, happy cloud chart trading. Bye for now.